what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy turbite reacts here r.i.p sasha let me get that out the way but i do want to address some things because you know i saw some comments on my last video that you know as i said man all opinions are welcomed on the channel you know what i'm saying all opinions are welcomed on the channel some people are saying oh you know um the biggest reveal in the episode was was well, was overshadowed by Sasha's dead and everybody going crazy over Sasha dying and it, it ain't even the point it's the story and all of this other stuff one thing you can't do is tell people how to feel okay listen you may be such a hard ass person and I can understand if you didn't develop an emotional attachment to Sasha as a character if you read the manga. Maybe you've watched the anime too, but you know, I can tell you this. There were moments that were done so well in the anime of Naruto. I didn't cry when I read it in the manga. I didn't cry when I read it in the manga, but the anime did such a good job of portraying it in action, it made me cry. You understand what I'm saying? And I know it's not the same situation here, and I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you in terms of, you know, one of the biggest reveals, as in Zeke working with Aaron in them right what is this why did this come about how did this come about when did zeke make this decision to work with him i don't know he wants the freedom for elian elian's freedom that's what he's working towards i don't know what is going to happen next in this anime but i have to say this guys if pe people feel how they feel you can't stop people from feeling how they feel about a particular scene about a particular um you get what i'm trying to say i'm for the story but that doesn't mean that i can't have an emotional attachment to a character that's being portrayed in the series you know what i'm saying if if you would have never felt anyway suppose Aaron had died you know what i'm saying all right give you guys this example suppose armin had died and he never got the colossal titan right you're trying to tell me that you wouldn't feel no way about that like and i'm not saying i'm i'm not putting sasha in the realm of what armin means to the series i'm not saying that but you gotta understand for me as i've explained in my review last week when i was talking about sasha she was the very first person to actually make me laugh in the series immediately you gotta understand the impact of that is not the same in the manga i've gone back to see it it's not the same the scene plays out the same but it's just so different to see that in action it made me laugh because i'm like this girl in the military <laughs> you know she's just always eating so she became dubbed as potato girl immediately when you're giving people nickname you develop an emotional attachment to them right so she became known in the anime world not just attack on titan people who has never watched the series know about potato girl sasha right she's not the main character we all know that we got a glimpse of her backstory you get what i'm saying and she just became this character she's kind of like she's kind of like um if it was hanji that died i would have felt the same way if it had been i'm talking about all these characters that you don't see a lot in the series you don't see a lot of them you know what they do and what they contribute to the series but you don't see them a lot people like connie like if connie died i would have felt the same way 
and that's what i'm trying to 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 say to you guys that are out there saying oh this and that the story is so good why is everybody paying so much attention and getting all up in arms about sasha's death guys try to understand things from other people's perspective and not just throw it to the side as just some you know whatever you know what i'm saying um I i've watched other people's reaction of the episode some people broke down crying listen a, a, there was a couple of times i was holding back tears i'm not even gonna lie because i'm saying you know I, i'm gonna take my time to do this intro because i want to get this stuff out of the way right i know that for the story right gabby killing sasha it makes sense it's the cycle that just won't break you get what i'm saying it's the cycle of these kids killing kids you know what i'm saying it's just it, it can get overwhelming you know what i'm saying not to say gabby gabby was so blinded by everything that's going on and what's happened to her people and what she's seen that she completely ignored what falco was saying to her completely ignored it was like did you see any did you did you see this happening they could be lying and it's a legitimate ask it's a legitimate ask when you look at things from her perspective it's a legitimate ask you get what i'm saying now i know the gabby hating train is full steam ahead you know those are the people <laughs> those are the people that you gotta get on listen in the moment when you're emotionally attached to a character and somebody that you barely know come up and kill that person right so say for instance Sasha is your family member. We've known her this entire time. All the season. Yes, you don't get a lot of screen time. It's kind of like you not seeing your siblings or your parents for ye for years. Right? Because you're somewhere else in the world. Right? And you hear that some random person shot your sibling or your brother or your sister. It's the, it, it's, that's how it felt. I'm trying to put it into perspective for people because a lot of times people don't look at stuff that way. They just think, oh, it's it's fiction. So why do you get emotionally attached to it? The story is so awesome. Pay attention to the story. Forget about those people. The characters make the story, man. The characters make the story. You know what I'm saying? As I said, if it was any other person, it, God, if it's if it was Pixis that died, I would have felt some sort of way. Cause Pixis is he's just an OG. You know what I'm saying? In the series. We haven't seen him in forever. If Pixis has showed up in the episode, that one episode, and he was just on the airship with the guys, and Gabby came on that airship and shot Pixis. I would have felt the same way. I'm that's just I'm telling you this from my perspective and how I took it. Right? So I know a lot of people is saying, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's not the point of the story and blah blah blah. We get that. At least I do. I can only speak for myself. I do. I get it. I get why Gabby you know even though they had her sliding and, 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 and shooting a gun like you know what i'm saying like she in call of duty or something even though that happened you know what i'm saying regardless of whatever she did she was on a mission she almost took out john also i mean john whatever you want to pronounce it right he almost she almost took out john too barely missed him right so we have to look at this from the point of view yes of the story and i love how the story is going and i'm enjoying it and i can talk about it forever but we can't ignore in my opinion that i felt like i just lost a member of the family you get what i'm saying yes i can look at all the people that gabby lost yes i can but guess what guess what every 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 murderer has a story well 
most of them do some of them just kill for no reason but most murderers they have a story they got a backstory just like everybody else they probably grew up poor you know what i'm saying feel like they got a murder to eat that's what they gotta do to eat they feel that way too but if that murderer kills a member of your family if that murderer kills a member of your family you're trying to tell me that yo it's the story that matters dude <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's the story hey we both grew up poor you know what i'm saying you don't know the guy and that's what i'm trying to say the few episodes that we've seen gabby we don't know her like that we know she's you know she wants to inherit the armor titan that's it that's it that's all we know about gabby to a, to a, you know what i'm saying she wants to so she can kill those island devils that's that's it you know what i'm saying it's erin 2.0 we get it but we don't know her so she kills a member of your family and you don't feel no sort of way i'm just saying bro that's how you feel that's your perspective i get it but my perspective is this so stop trying to convince me <laughs> stop trying to convince me i get it i know some people are talking about the ending of the of the of attack on titan all of that stuff you know what i'm saying um that it might turn out that it listen we gonna watch and we gonna see if it's gonna be bad if it's bad you know i'm gonna say that it's bad you know what i'm saying because i don't pull no punches but i'm just saying i know some of you guys didn't you know wanted us to concentrate more on other things and stuff like that but all that stuff there's not much to really discuss about the zeke stuff it's just you just gotta wonder you can speculate but there's not much that you can dive into to to really you know dig deep into to try to find out because there's the only thing that there was clues to this because of the ships that were sent over to to um to 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 party right right there were ships that were sent that never returned so some of those soldiers joined up over there um you know i.e the guy that was that was piloting the airship and the other one that the girl i don't remember her name i think her name is elena or i think it's elena or something something of the sort her name is we'll learn about more about her um going forward i'm guessing that was close to zeke and that's pretty much all we know there's nothing more the only thing you what do you can speculate about what is there to really talk about we haven't read the manga chill <laughs> all right all right see i spent 13 minutes talking about this i my intros are never this long but i had to talk about it because there were so many people saying uh uh is you good you know i can't stand all, i don't understand how all these people are crying over gab over 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 sasha I'm like dude try to understand things from other people's perspective before you come in the comment section sometimes man i'm just saying i'm just saying give us a chance i felt some sort of way about it and that's just what it is you know what i'm saying i felt like i lost a member of the aot family man like i'm just saying i get it you didn't feel any type of way and that's fine you're more manly than me god <laughs> i get it man you know what i mean anyways let's get to the episode i'll see you guys for the review <laughs> All right, once more on the, the threshold, we embark. I don't know why I said that. But, episode 9, Attack on Titan Season 4. And I said a lot <laughs> in the intro. I was just trying to address people and to try to put things into perspective. Because sometimes you're so blinded by your own perspective and how you feel about something sometimes that you forget that you know not everybody is going to feel the same way about especially a piece of media <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm just saying that sometimes um when it comes on to that stuff like you know you know understand you know all i'm trying to say 
Um, so we got to see a lot in this episode. Um, you know, the development of the plan was definitely necessary for, for us to kind of understand what's, how did this plan come about, how it happened, what took place, what exchanged hands, you know. Um, so from what we learned is that Zeke sent um, Yelena, make sure I say her name right this time, Yelena and this other dude, black dude, I don't, know, I, don't I can't, I'm not going to remember that name, a, a chronic, or whatever his name is, um, you know, it's funny that he said creator, I don't know, maybe that's uh, uh, how the way how it was translated, it felt like, it felt like he, the, the um, what's his name, Ishiyama, I think his name is Ishiyama, right, is is Isayama? Isay Isay. I don't remember the Arthur's name, the manga. I can't remember his name. Okay, I think it's something like uh, I know it's um, Hajime. I think it's Hajime Isayama. I think that's his name. I think I said it right. <laughs> anyway, if I butchered it, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna let me know. So I think he wrote that line in for his benefit, in my opinion. Um, the creator line. That's why I laughed because he was like, this dude really wrote a line in there talking about himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, he created this black guy in the show to to, um, to show that, to, to create, a, to have a mix. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why I chuckled at that line. It was, it was great. I'm pretty sure he wrote that because of himself you know what i'm saying that's why he chose to you to make this character because we haven't seen darker characters in the show i think he's the first one to be honest we've seen we've seen other i think we've seen a couple in marley i think we've seen you know a couple in marley even before we met this guy i think there was a couple that we saw during the whole you know people from around the world coming to marley and stuff while willie was there um, we saw, you know, different people from around the world, black guys, Asian dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, we saw it all. It was a whole mix of people there. So, yeah, so we learned that they sent, he basically sent them there and told them, yo, give them this letter, let them know I mean business, you know what I'm saying? Let them know I want the freedom of aliens, you know? And I think, I, I, I really do, un you gotta, un you gotta understand things from both sides of this. Because I understand why, you know, the people in Paradise, you know, that we've gotten used to, why they feel they have to be so cautious with this. Because it, it could be a coup d'etat. You know what I'm saying? It could be a coup. You know what I'm saying? It could be a, it could be a Trojan horse, I should say, not a coup. It could be a Trojan horse situation. You never know. I still don't completely trust Zeke. I get it, you know, we, we, it's one of the things that I had hoped for that they could get someone from over there on their side, prefer, preferably, you know, whether it's, um, whether it's Zeke, you know what I'm saying, whether it's Zeke, whether it's anybody that we've met, but, you know, whether it's Annie breaking out of her shell or whatever situation is, Reiner, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that sympathizes, you know what I'm saying? And could get them some inside information on Marley on what's going on and how they can better protect themselves, whatever. You know, it was a hope of mine. And it turns out is the last person you expect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is Zeke that turned up on everybody in season three and killed so many of the scouts like literally almost wiped out the scouts <laughs> like and now he's here talking about a plan that's tough and i can understand why why yo levi's like i'm not taking my eyes off you as long as you over here so so you know what i'm saying it's crazy i don't know what's going to happen next i can't even speculate because this is so brilliantly written you're probably going to end up wrong if you speculate anyways so i don't want to really put myself in that position i'm just going to enjoy the story and for what it is i like the scene that they did for sasha i like the fact that nicolo i don't know i remember his name you know nicolo you know who didn't you know he was like the first one that was captured you know um 
off maybe one of the ships or something and you know what i'm saying um shot you know what i'm saying like good cook sasha loved his food so he, he, he went to pay his respects because i think they came uh, you know a lot of the marlians they, once they get off the ship they, uh, they they kind of when you're being be around people long enough you understand who they are you know what i'm saying and to understand that you know this war is just war you're brainwashed you don't understand that people are good people you know what i'm saying they never meant nobody no harm and you guys sent you know these pe these titans to come and mess up everything and you know what i mean as if the titans that you guys were you know the people that you guys were turning into titans and sending them over here wasn't enough you know what i'm saying you you decide now to come and poke holes in the walls and let all these titans in you know it, it, it's just crazy to me you know so shout out to you know i think i don't i don't i don't even want to think all i know is that they did an excellent job in this episode of showing what went down and the, you know the crucial things that are happening i was happy to see annie there at the end again even though she's still you know in the theme um hopefully she, i don't know is she in a coma maybe she can hear what armin is saying i don't know but if she's hearing all of that you know what i'm saying you know who is she going to be if she you know at some point comes out because i don't think i don't think as brilliant as an arthur that this guy is that is right in this story i don't think he's he's not going to plug that plot hole because at this moment annie is a plot hole in the story it's not a bad plot hole it's a good one that you can use for something later you get what i'm saying um so i was happy to see that she was still um you know that she got ear time i should say um so she's gonna be some of somewhat relevant going forward you know so i was happy to see that um what else you know you talk about yelling and them talking to pixies pixies they, they guns pointed at them and they understand you know what i'm saying they're like yelling us they understand it's like we brought these guns you know <laughs> using them to stick us up <laughs> you know what i'm saying um the trust is just not there yet and they gotta understand three years and they still taking these kind of precautions and it's totally understandable you can't go into a situation like this thinking you know these people are just going to trust me it's obvious that some people you know some people trust them more than the others like i think the scouts have warmed up to them a lot better than you know the higher ups you know what i'm saying um so it was finally revealed from Aaron that he knows about the founding titan power can't be used unless he's in contact with someone of royal blood and he explained the situation where he's it's like because levi asked him was like why didn't you come forward with this information he knew it all this time i mean it's been a while you know what i mean so you know he basically told him that he didn't want to put um his story in danger which i think in my opinion that's who i ship i ship aaron and his story but i know a lot of people say mikasa and aaron um and in my opinion i don't think aaron likes mikasa like that i think mikasa might like him like that but i don't think i don't think i don't i just i don't know i just i don't feel like the history between them has always been i don't think i think in some ways you know mikasa just feels indebted to aaron to the point of loving him and it's kind of like um they this, there's something that they call it um i don't remember you guys can tell me there's there's a word for it there's a there's a word for it um you know what I'm i don't is it stockholm syndrome i don't think it's stockholm syndrome i don't think that's stockholm syndrome when it, it's kind of like um when you know you like you save someone like you save someone for like for, like from death or something or you save their life and they become obsessed with you i think that's what's going on with mikasa I, th I don't think it's Stockholm Syndrome, but it could be. I don't remember what Stockholm Syndrome is. Hey, Siri. What is Stockholm Syndrome? Stockholm Syndrome is a condition in which hostages develop a psychological bond with their captors during captivity. 
okay so it's got so so it's kind of like Stockholm Syndrome. So it, I, I guess I was kind of right. <laughs> I think that's what they call it, right? Stockholm Syndrome. So um, so they get attached to their rescuers or <laughs> whatever the situation is. So I think that's what's going on with Mikasa. I don't really think that Eren is into Mikasa like that, like romantically like that. But but we'll see as the series develop if, the, if they... I, I think... I think Aaron should try to get with his story. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's who I ship together. I think they would make an awesome couple. That's just me. <laughs> that's just me, okay? Um, I don't think anybody else has shipped those two. I don't think anybody else. But if you do, put it in the comment section and let me know. But in any case, guys, I appreciate you guys' time for sitting down, listening to me for literally probably around 30 minutes from the intro to the... Um, to the review of the episode it was a great episode i liked everything that they covered they did a great job of portraying the emotion from sasha's grave um even with niccolo get niccolo getting a beat down from you know somebody from parties this is like you guys are the one that send most of the people that are here you know laying in, in the cemetery like you can't be here you know what i'm saying and in some ways you can look at that as disrespect but you also got to understand that, you know what I'm saying? They've developed these emotional attachments to people, you know, to they're finding out that, yo, these are my people. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but you also got to understand how they feel towards them. Because he's not really a Marleyan. He's, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, is he Marleyan? He's not an Eldian, right? He's a Marleyan. Niccolo. He's a Marleyan, right? What am I saying? I think he's a Marleyan because he came over on a ship. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's an Eldian because I think everybody that... Well, not everybody. Unless the... Unless... I don't know. The, the military is mixed up of a bunch of people. So you don't really know who's... I mean, unless they're wearing an armband because Yelena doesn't wear an armband. At least I've never seen her in an armband even when she was standing you know when they showed her in the last episode standing there by the ship i don't remember if i saw her with an armband i know when she was pretending to be you know when she was bringing um peak and um and and, and um galliard to drop them in the hole i know she was wearing a armband then but that could have just been part of the disguise so i don't know if she's actually um eldian um well I think she said she was captured or whatever and she was like forced into the military uh, something I don't remember exactly what she said but she's not Eldian so say that and she's not Marleyan either so um so yeah great stuff man great episode can't say too much about it I mean hopefully I covered every point I wanted to cover um, Zeke has a plan and you know they you know they're slowly executing the plan you know getting better weapons you know they want to call this a victory you know but it will it, it was it's super sad bro it's super sad you know um, Gabby she just needs to calm down and listen just 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 hear somebody out you know what I'm saying um zeke was a little concerned about them that's why he asked about him he's like are they going to get to see trees like me you know what i'm saying levi is smart he's bringing him somewhere where he knows that you want to transform up in this piece hmm? you want to transform i will cut you down <laughs> i'll make sure there's lots of trees where i can swing on <laughs> okay anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man it's your boy terabyte reacts here like comment you know what to do subscribe if you're new i'm out peace